Hey y'all, Farmer Jesse here. Thought I'd do another tool review as promised. It's kind of a big tool. This tool here, and also this one here, but this one here. So I'm gonna review the Farmer's Friend Cat Tunnel as it comes in the kit, but also this one that we just put up that doesn't have the plastic on it yet. I'm gonna talk about this too because it has some of the accessories. So this is a 100 footer, 50 footer, cat, dog way down there. Hi Wendell. So let's do it. Hey, before we get into it, make sure to go and check out our Patreon group for the no-till market gardeners. In that, I will be putting on the plastic to this guy and explaining some of my mistakes that I made going along. Like this, why there's a little piece of missing pearl in there. And how I corrected them. So uh, I'll be talking all about that when I get that plastic on here, I don't know, in a month or so. Check that out, it'll be over at the Patreon page. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, so first thing to note here, they'll tell you that it comes on a pallet and that it's very heavy. They're, they're not joking, they're, they're pretty serious, they're pretty straightforward people, they're not Farmer Jesse's. Basically, it's really heavy. If you don't have a tractor to unload it and you don't have a great back, Maybe think about getting one or two people to help you unload it, even if you're getting the 50 footer. The 100 footer obviously is a little heavier, the plastic's heavier, there's more metal, all that stuff. Either one, you're probably gonna want some help getting it off the truck. There's no guarantee that the guy or girl who's delivering it is gonna help you. Although ours did, so shout out to whoever delivered ours, because they're awesome. Now, obviously a lot of people talk about how you can build your own for fairly cheap, and I'm sure you can. The design on this, however, makes it perhaps a little bit worth investing in the Farmer's Friend one. One, you get all of the pieces. You get the bows, uh, you get the rebar, you get these, and those hold your carabiners, which hook onto the rope that goes over top that gives it that sort of caterpillar look, that wavy boot, doot, doot, doot. Those hold that string. So you also get, when you order the kit, you also get the string, you get the rope that ties across where this purlin is. We ordered the purlin, but I'll talk about that in a second. But you can put a strap, it's a strap, I think. A strap is a purlin, and that works. That's actually what we have over here. Maybe I invested in the purlin for the winter for the 50 footer and the 100 footer because I want these to stay up all winter and handle a little bit more snow load and also a little bit better wind load. That's why I invested in these, but those don't come with it. You'll get the plastic and um, all of, I'll just put everything up instead of just listing it, but you get all of those things. So the assembly is pretty straightforward. They give you this nice little catalog, detailed instructions, everything that you're supposed to get. Gives you everything step by step. You assemble the bows, you put in the, you put in your stakes everything all the way down to putting up and tying down the plastic so this ad the from start to finish the main kit super simple super straightforward one person can probably put this 50 foot together in a day I mean, it'd be a big day maybe but i would think you could get this up in a day two people could easily get this up in a morning the hundred footer maybe two people could get it up in a day i don't know i'm kind of guessing there i think that we took down and moved this 50 footer in one day pretty easily i set it all up the original the first time by myself but then we took it down and moved it in no time at all with three of us and it was easily moved in a day thing i find the hardest is pounding in the rebar one recommendation i have for that is actually getting a instead of using a hammer or a maul or a mini sledge get yourself a post driver to use the bottom side of it not the not the hollow side but the top side and just pound it that way that is the fastest way i've found and it uses the least amount of energy so you're you can actually knock all of your posts out probably using that method i don't know 20 minutes so even on a hundred footer you could knock that out pretty fast two people especially so yeah it comes with everything you need to get up a good solid structure for the winter time and all the instructions that you need to get it done however when you get into the accessories they're not going to tell you anything about you don't get any insert or anything like that at least not right now i'm sure that's something that farmer's friend would correct because the putting on the purlin or putting on your wind straps or even putting on your channel lock 
you're gonna kind of have to figure that out on your own. And if you've done a tunnel maybe before, like a, we have regular tunnels too, if you've done you know, an in-ground high tunnel, then maybe you have some experience with that and it's maybe a little bit more intuitive. But I have experience with that and it wasn't entirely intuitive. I ended up putting the channel lock on first and I had a big struggle with it because I'm a dummy and I didn't remember you know, maybe to put it on last. I don't know why people give me a farm, but I put it on first so I've had to take it off to put everything else on. I also tried to weave the purlin through the middle and I mean primarily because I'm a dummy but also I just didn't have any guidance there so that's one thing I would say to farmers friend is with each of these additions these these accessories including yeah the purlin the wind braces the channel lock they also do risers any of those I think maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to have an insert in there one quick uh, fact check slash addendum is that if you go to their YouTube page to the farmers friend YouTube page which I'll also link in the show notes they do have a couple videos up there which I didn't know about do you know about it spider-man they one is on the uh, putting up the purlin construction uh, video and then they also have one about the lift kits they don't have one for the bracing however maybe they'll correct that but also I still think the inserts are a good idea nonetheless so wrong hi Wendell you in animals that's my fam I mean for the most part I'm super satisfied with this structure it's very strong uh, we were able to get through a really wet winter a really cold winter I had tomatoes in here in April we had the sixth coldest April on record in Kentucky I ended up having tomatoes through here all summer now I've got some fall stuff going on there some carrots and Brussels sprouts and some more carrots but I love these structures I think farmers friend has done a really superb job of designing and delivering on the product both times we've ordered one we got everything we ordered good customer service gonna spend a thousand or twelve hundred dollars or something on these if you have good production you're gonna make that money back pretty fast I would think you could do it easily within the season definitely within the year reason that we got the wind braces and the reason that we got the purlins is so we that we could flatten the side instead of having this cone shape here at the end we don't know that we're going to use it but we want the ability to have flat sides so that we can squeeze this into the tighter parts of our garden some of our some parts of our garden don't have that extra 10 or 12 feet off the end that we can just have a big thing of plastic also I kind of like that extra plastic because it offers you some room for putting some tools or you know putting down some trays if you have if you need some space in the springtime we use that extra room for extra uh, sort of propagation space and that kind of worked out nicely so this winter we're actually leaving a little space on the end of our caterpillar tunnel so that we can just like go have a picnic in there and you're looking at about 14 feet you can maybe stretch it out to 15 or bring it in a little bit depending on your your bed width and your path width you're gonna fit anywhere from three to four beds in there three may be good in the summertime if you want a little bit more height you can push it together a little bit and get a little bit more height in terms of maybe putting some tomatoes in there you can also get the extensions however you're not gonna to want to get the extensions if you have the old model now the old model the one that we ordered before I think it's before February of this year of 2018 is the plastic is not as long so I couldn't put the extensions on this 50 footer that I could on the 100 footer because the, the plastic is not as wide. Got both of ours over four beds just because our path space is more like a foot. So we leave a little bit of path space, but we have more beds under there so we can fit more produce. All around, I really, really recommend this tool. It's very easy to put up barring accessories and it's really well designed so shout out to farmers friend they did a really great job oh anyway uh, if you like this video please like this video also make sure to subscribe I put all the links to farmers friend down in the show notes and like I said check out the patreon page it's like two dollars a month and you can see I give a detailed rundown of all the things that I screwed up on the farmers friend putting this thing up on the accessories and some hints for how to not be a screw up like farmer Jesse did I say subscribe I think you should subscribe too. that'd be cool subscribe hit the subscribe button also that little bell next to it that'll make sure that you get our videos other than that we'll see you all later thanks for watching bye